back on the show. I'm a huge fan of his acting. I also think he's delightful company, Mr. Martin Freeman. Thank you. I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I've got speed. I've got everything I need. I'm the urban spaceman, baby. I can fly. I'm a supersonic guy. We just started talking this sort of because, of course, you know your music, don't you? Well, some of it. That was the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. Uh, even before we got to sit down, he, he sent me a question which I got incorrectly. I gave the wrong answer. He said, who produced it? I saw George Harrison. He said... Paul McCartney. Wow. You know your music. Mm. 68. Oh, don't rub it in. <laughs> Written um, by Neil Innes. Next. Oh. <laughs> You're like a pub bore already. That was a lovely opening monologue, by the way. Did you enjoy that? It was like Oscar Wilde was still with us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's really uh, a lovely sort of story about vomiting. Well, look, and... here's the thing. When you're a student, you get up... We, we, did you have student days? Yeah. Where did you study? A proper thing or acting? Acting. OK. Mm. Doesn't really count. But <laughs> uh, you must have had a couple of nights where you maybe drank a little more than was sensible. Yeah, and vomited in the kitchen, yeah. yeah. And that was part of the fun, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> part of the experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, I appreciate the fact you've dressed up for us. What a marvellous cravat. Thanks, I thought I'd raise the stakes for you. And what a lovely tie. Thank you. We don't mm. see cravats out in public very often. No, I know, and I want to reverse that trend. I'd like to see you more. Have you ever considered a monocle? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, no. Uh, but uh, I, see the, I see the style in the monocle. Go the whole hog. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'd love maybe, to see yeah. you in? Mm. A top hat. You know what I'd love to see you in? What? A f***ing box. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm delighted Martin is with us, uh, not only because he's a great guest, but you've got a couple of great things to talk about. Number one, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Who knew? All right, now here's a movie that I think uh, everyone's been looking forward to. If you like the original series, the mm -hmm. book you've been looking forward to, mm -hmm. if you like British movies generally, it's been something. And the fact that you're <coughs> in it, I think, is the cherry on the cake. Well, God bless you. Uh, it opens this week, I believe, all over yes. the UK. Yes, yes. Uh, we're going to show a little taste of it for people now, and then we'll talk about it. Let's do it. This is Martin in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Arthur, what if I told you I was from another planet? Attention, people of Earth. I regret to inform you that in order to make way for the new hyperspace express route, your planet has been scheduled for demolition. <laughs> Have a nice day. Hang on, we're hitching a ride. Losing your planet <laughs> isn't the end of the world. Hey, man! What the hell are you doing here? Arthur, this is Aphod Bibblebrox, president of the galaxy. Uh, sorry, what exactly are we doing? This! Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <clears throat> You've got to love it. Special effects, monsters, bloke off the office, everything you want right there. <laughs> Do you like the fact that for such a thing that's this quint quintessentially English thing, oh, it's such a, so English, it's so perfectly British. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we want to see for a trailer. Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. I very much enjoyed you in the film. I think you're a terrific Thank actor. You. Thank uh, you very much. You get to play, he's the kind of everyman character, isn't he? I suppose Arthur so. Arthur Dent. And yeah. that seems to be the kind of role that you get more often than not. Oh, it? thanks, John. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a good thing, isn't it? Is it? Do you, do you think you are kind of an everyman? No. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying it, you know, yeah. and I think it becomes a... If you don't mind my saying so, a very lazy word to use uh, because because it's just like if if I'm playing a likable person, then I should be likable. If I'm yeah. playing a, you know, monstrous person, then I should be. Have horrible. you have you played a monstrous person? Yeah, loads of times. When, when? Just not famous. I, never, I never saw one. What kind of monstrous? Like a real monster? Vampire. Oh, Teeth. Look at that acting. <laughs> <laughs> um, you spend the whole movie, I think I'm safe in saying, mm -hmm. uh, in the dressing gown. Yes, there's a little flashback scene where I'm in a pith helmet and shorts and a sort of. Uh, British Empire. Which is sort of a party outfit. Yes, exactly, yeah. a fancy dress party outfit. Yeah. But apart from that, I spent four months in a, in a dressing gown and pyjamas. Yeah. Which I was thinking must be, in a way, I know it's what the character's all about mm. and it's what the film's all about, but I would mm. have thought getting a big movie like this, a bit frustrating <laughs> to think, OK, I've got one outfit the whole time. For yeah. four months, I'm going to... And it's not a great-looking robe either, is it? No. No, no it's not. Um, it's not very flattering, uh, and you do get a bit jealous when you look over at Sam Rockwell, who's Zaphod or Moe. You know, everyone else is... 
you know, rather rather snappy. Wait, suits, and I imagine yeah. that they probably got to keep their clothes from the uh, from the no, shoot. No, all all property of Disney. Yeah. It all went back. Mm -hmm. So you didn't even get to keep your robe. No, what a shame. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think though that must be a bit of a dream. I love the idea. There's been many times when I've been at home, especially in the winter, mm. wearing pajamas. Yeah, yeah, me too. The flannel right, and you think, wouldn't it be mm. nice just to go into work wearing these? Yeah, and that was all right. Actually, it was quite nice because you could just go and have have your lunch. Lie down, no one really cared if you got oh, crumbs nice. or sauce on yourself, you know. Have you ever worn pyjamas into work under your regular trousers and not told anyone? <laughs> uh, I, have, I thought everyone's done that at least once, haven't they? In the winter when it's chilly and you think, oh, these jeans are big enough to accommodate, and so you pull it on over your piggy jam jams and you think, oh, that's nice. But and also, you ever worn big jeans? I wear big jeans sometimes. You always wear really tight trousers. I've got some maternity jeans I wear for fat days. <laughs> <laughs> and a big elasticated V at the front. <laughs> now, I'm excited, but surprised. Oh, God. Because I never thought I'd see you in the sort of movie where there would be an action figure based upon you. No, neither did I. And yeah. here it is. We have the Arthur Dent action figure. We haven't mocked this up. This is genuine. Out there. We're trying to open it. It's very hard to open. I'm going to use my strength now. Oh, no, it's been opened up. Right. I, I, didn't know. I think it's got, it's got cheekbones, isn't it? Because I haven't really got cheekbones. Well, look, and look, it has. look. It doesn't... I... <laughs> Luckily, this is voodoo. You know? Yeah, because that would really hurt. Yeah, that would <laughs> but look. Have a look, it doesn't really look like him, I don't think. Obviously, it's a lot smaller, but... <laughs> God almighty, that, doesn't, that looks even less like me than the one I've seen. It looks more like me. Also, one of the... One it looks like the, Christian Slater or someone. A good-looking fella. <laughs> one of the nostrils, they've made one nostril really large and yeah. one small. Look at that. They have, haven't they? Yeah, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Mm. Do you get given some of these when they do this sort of thing? Well, I don't know, I've not been given one so far. I, you... I'm glad that you've got one before, right? Oh, Jesus, stop <laughs> dropping me on my head! <laughs> If they make a shoddy toy that won't stand up, it's hardly my fault, is it? Yeah, there, there I am. I haven't got one yet. Can I have that one? You could have this one if you want. There was a towel that came with it. I think, here you go, look. A tea towel, because the tea towel's crucial to the oh, plot, Oh, yeah, course. yeah. Well, it's, not, it's a bath towel, actually. It's not a tea towel. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> You're turning into a hitchhiker's anorak, aren't you? Yeah. You'd be over there, yeah, well, it's a, it wasn't a tea towel. It's not an anorak, actually. It's a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, presumably, they wanted to get it right for the fans of the radio show, the book itself, and the TV yeah. series. So yeah. there's kind of a legacy you have to live up to. Were you there kind of is, yeah. conscious of that, is. aware of that? We were all conscious of it, but you can't really go to work feeling that too much, otherwise you just can't do your job. But yeah, uh, yeah we're aware that you have to please fans who have, after all, been the lifeblood of the story for nearly a, well, a quarter, more than a quarter of a century. Of course, yeah. Uh, but also, most people haven't read Hitchhikers. Most people aren't Hitchhikers fanatics. So we've got to please those people too. One thing I very much liked about the movie in particular, I mean, your performance was tremendous, but Thank I you. really liked the Englishness of it. I like the mm. fact that even though obviously they've added some, you know, more American uh, actors, but, but certainly that was always in the TV series anyway, they had people speaking yeah. American. But I like the fact that it's certainly the humour and the style and the kind of feel of it, it's still a very English film, which I, think so, yeah. I, I imagine wasn't necessarily the easy option to take. I think everyone's fear was that it was going to be just Hollywoodized yeah, out of, of the pie and, you know, everyone would really uh, be a bit disappointed because it was going to be totally changed. And hopefully that's not happened, you know. At the same time, this isn't a holy text, you know. No. It's, it's a script that Douglas Adams wrote um, and it's, it's, just, it's okay, it's only a screenplay, yeah. you know what I mean, it's not the Quran. So Hitchhiker's out now, um, will there be a sequel, do you think? I don't know, Jonathan. Would I mean, you do it if there are, was? If it was done with the same kind of care and intent. Okay. Yeah, and the same team. And the same money? <laughs> no. Would... <laughs> How much money did you get paid for it? About, um... You have to tell me, I'm just... Oh, silly. don't I? <laughs> <laughs> you nearly had me then. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, OK, um, let's talk about this other project you have coming up, as well as there's Hitchhikers you can go and see them at the movie, but if you're too tight to go and play and see them on the big screen, mm -hmm. or you don't think you can deal with Martin that big... I can't. Yeah. Um, then you can stay home and watch them on a new series on BBC Two, Called The Robinsons. Now yes. tell us about this. This is a comedy series. It's yes. a sitcom. It's, uh, it's a six-part, half-hour comedy show uh, written and directed by uh, two writers called Mark Bustle and Justin Zabresny. Okay. Um, they've written a, a series about this family called The Robinsons in the sort of southwest suburbs of London. Kind, kind of, of a middle-class family. Yeah, kind of middle-class sort of dysfunctional but then sort of normal family you know i don't yeah. know what dysfunctional is i think no. what we mean by dysfunctional is like with with kind of amusing quirks when it applies oh, yeah. to a sitcom you think you know like the simpsons are dysfunctional yeah. but yes. we love them for it yeah you, you know. wait till you see how amusing we get well they, they are it's quite a strange yeah. bunch i mean it's i'm i'm delighted to see the return of the middle class sitcom because yeah. it's almost died out yeah yeah when does it start BCT? i think it starts on the 5th of may okay I so think, that's yeah. next week yeah. I, I made the effort of watching the first show i enjoyed it tremendously big of you. Got well made the effort you got me on i watched it i set aside half an hour to watch a show. Thank you very much. 
I liked Robinson, and I really thought it was great. And I was really pleased because I want to see you in good comedies. I want to see you doing good work on TV. Thanks. I always think you're good in things. I thought you were even good when you had the wig on in Charles II. What do you mean, even? When I, I well, mean, because period drama. wig shouldn't really preclude you from being good, should I it? I wouldn't think of you as doing period drama necessarily. Why? Because you're like a modern kind of guy, aren't you? Um, you're like, yeah, I don't you're know, like is a that a compliment? You're like a dude, aren't you? <laughs> with a cravat, yeah. <laughs> I'm really down with the kids. A wild man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you do uh, in the evening? Do you go out, do you go to clubs, do you hang out in the evening, do you go to nice places, do you have fun? <clears throat> I have fun, but I don't go out an awful lot. What do you do? I stay in. <laughs> well, uh, let's have a look at the Robinsons. This is a clip of Martin's excellent new comedy series. It starts on BBC Two on election night. How easy is that to remember? So when you're at home thinking, maybe I should have voted, watch this instead. <laughs> So, the good news is that uh, our marine business, Western Region, is up 0.2% year on year. So what I'd like to try and do today is see if we can build on that success. Come in. Oh, hi Nora. Oh, sorry, am I interrupting something important? No. I just need you to have a look at this. <clears throat> Exciting development, isn't it? I really think you should get onto this straight away. Me too. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Just gonna think about that later. I think, without doubt, one of the best comic actors in the country. Thank you. Oh, really? You've got brilliant timing. <clears throat> Thank you very much. And that must be hard to do without an audience, though, I guess. No, it's kind of it's kind of nice to Is do it, that. Even though yeah. you're, you're doing all the, but then you know, but then we've got good editors. That was probably a dreadful performance, but they've made it look quite good. Don't be down on yourself. You're um, a great actor. Stop it. Well, I'm not you're a great, great actor, actor with a strange haircut. <laughs> Again, right? No, listen. No, 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 you listen, right? Look at your hair. Look at my hair. Yes. Look at it's your hair. It's a bloody vision. <clears throat> I had a it is a vision. Yes. yes. I had a man walking behind me earlier. Said, "Is he or is he not wearing harmony hairspray?" <laughs> No, you had a man behind you saying, is it or is it not a man or a woman? What is this, the 70s? A man can have long locks. Yeah, yeah, no, it is the 70s when a man's got long locks. Look around you now, people don't look like that anymore. You've got a nerve to tell me about Charles II's wig. Look at your barnet! I'll tell you the only problem I've got with your hair, Martin. Oh, right? Jesus, it's Because, on. what with your round, pudgy face and everything... <laughs> Which is nice, it's nice, it's very attractive in a non-threatening way, and that's why you get the parts, but what I like about it is that that's true. You look a bit like someone, and it confuses me sometimes. OK, who do I look like? Bob the Builder. <laughs> is that, look, is he? Look, look! Never mind Hitchhikers, that's your next movie. Hey. But well, I got one. Uh, I've got my when I go out clubbing with the fellas. <laughs> and the old what? Look at it! Look at it! Hold it! I'm just working it. That's right. Shingle, no problem. The guttering will cost you more, madam. Do you want to touch helmets? <laughs> no? Why, you know what, that's too rich even for my blood. <laughs> Especially a man wearing a cravat and a hard hat. Uh, all right, well, Martin, lovely to see you as always. Nice to see you as well. Good luck with Hitchhikers, I think Thank it'll you. be a hit. I don't think you need any luck. Good luck with the Robinsons, which Thank is you. really good fun. I've got the second episode, I can't wait to see that. Thanks, and what man. a fantastic cast around you as well. It is, I'm very lucky, man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think one of the best comic actors in the country, Mr Martin Freeman. <laughs> Oh, I enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. Are you doing it to your Yeah, I've done it. I've done it.